Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can build a custom Avery in Prehistoric Kingdom. So let's get started. Okay, so I've came to an empty slot here in my park. So I'm going to go down to enclosures at the bottom here. Then we want to go into exhibits and there we have a mini Avery. So if you want to pop that down, press Z or X on your keyboard to rotate it. So we'll just pop that down there. Now you can put as much of these down as you possibly want. I'm actually just going to go for the one just now to keep it nice and simple. So when we click on our exhibit box here, down at the bottom, you can see that you can have it with the cage or you can have it without the cage. And because we want it custom, we do want it without the cage. So that's pretty much perfect. If I wanted another one beside this, I can just simply click on it, press Control D on my keyboard, and that will bring me another one up. So I can put one very close next to it if I wanted to although it does say invalid placement. So there we go. That's that's as close as I can get them. So that is essentially going to be my area that I can build with. Now your micro raptors will just fly about here as happy as they can be. If we go up to edit group here, we can see that we've got this box selected. So you can either build within a grid or you can just freestyle it. Also, you can add in your Microraptor or your Archaeopteryx up here. So you just select breed and you can skip between a male or a female as well. And you can basically just keep on selecting them until you get as much Microraptors and Archaeopteryx as you want. So you can get 10 of these in your habitat. So there we go. And they will just basically happily fly about and do their thing. They're on a bit of a looped animation. They're absolutely fascinating to watch. So Nigel Marvin will probably pop up very shortly and tell us some more information about them. So again, if you want to do the same with this one, go into your edit group, select your tree there, and then just keep on breeding Microraptors or Archaeopteryx. So once we have them down, you can basically go away and build whatever kind of structure that you want. So if you go down into your modular pieces here, you'll see that we've got loads of different pieces here that we can just go away and build all the way around it. So I'm just going to make something just for the purpose of showing you guys how we can go custom here. Just rotate that wall piece as well. Uh, there we go. So that's that done. Uh, we've got a little bit of a wall bit at the back, so we're just going to remove that. So once we've got that in, we can't actually see our micro raptors, which is not actually perfect at all. So we want to select all of this. So we're going to press Control A on our keyboard, and that's selected everything. If you go down here into Modern, you can then change this to Glass if you go into Basic, and then that is your glass structure there. So now we can actually see into our micro raptor Avery. Another quite cool thing to do is we're just going to come out of this group and we're going to select our micro raptor tree again and we are going to go into edit group now within here you can go to this little tab here which says habitat and it will show you all the different needs that the micro raptor and the temperature and the environment none of this these two ones work currently you can if you want to change the environment there we go that is a to me that looks tropical i'm not entirely sure if it is but basically you can toggle between different foliage if you want so you there you go that's created some like rocks and in tropical goodness and all that you can also take that off you can also add in an avery house here and you can also add in a feeding tower as well so they'll come up here and uh, feed so that's the two things that you can design on your habitat there you don't have to have these in game just now because currently the mechanics of it don't actually work so that is one way if you just wanted to pop this down, put that one over there and say if you wanted to go for the tropical because it's a lot faster than you placing all of the, the actual individual things as well. So again, we're going to go to edit group, select on our tree there and then we're going to go to tropical and then it's up to you guys if you want to add in the feeding tower and the, the house as well. So that is looking pretty good to me. You may want to go away and change up the bottom, especially if we're going for a bit of a tropical paradise here. So if you go to your terraforming tool, and then down at the bottom, you can click different biomes. So we've got boreal, coastal, temperate, scrubland, wetland, tropical. And then these two are currently not available. So again, you can change your intensity and your size. So that is quite large. And then we can go away and, and put the grass back in if we want to. So I'll just, oh, we're on snow for some bizarre reason. Aop. 
Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to put my grass back in. It's just the inside that's got the, the sand. So we'll just quickly do that. There we go. It's not, too, it's not looking too bad. So once we've done that, you probably want to put a roof on this. So again, I'm going to press into my edit group here. If I want to select everything, again, control A on my keyboard, you can press control D to duplicate your pieces that you've selected and you can hold down shift just to raise that up. So that gives them like quite a decent amount of space to fly in. Now, if you do want to put a roof on this, it's simple. You can go into your roof section and basically just pick whatever you want. So you could go for something as simple as just like a flat roof, or you could go something a little bit more designed, depending on just what your style is. One thing that I find is quite cool is if you go into your structure elements and go down to the bottom, you do have chain link. So if you select our chain link here, and basically we are just wanting to pop this on the top. So if we go to our settings here and it goes to align to surface here, and you'll see that that has now aligned to that surface on this side of the glass. So I'm going to press V on my keyboard and this will give me my advanced move tool here. And I'm just going to move this up into position. I'm then going to rotate this with my angle snap turned on uh, up to 90 degrees. So that is going to flip over. And then I'm just going to move this into position on the top of my glass there. So there we go. I've got as flat as possible. I'm holding down Control and V to duplicate that and move that along. And then I'm just going to line this up. And then I'm just going to put this all the way over to the other side. Now you can use your stretch tool as well once we do get over to a section that might be a little bit tricky. So you can see here that this has not lined up right to that part there. Some people probably wouldn't mind that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select absolutely everything here by holding down shift and clicking. Then I'm going to press V on my keyboard and then this little toggle here, which is your scale edit. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch this out ever so slightly. So you can see here that you can move this to stretch it out. So I just want this to be over at both sides here. And then I'm just going to move it so it is in the middle. Happy-ish with that. So we'll just pop that there and then... Control V on our keyboard while everything is still selected. And then we're just going to move this over to our other section here. Cool. And I am happy with that. So that is an extremely basic yet custom Avery that you can make in your prehistoric parks. And I don't think it does look that bad. I mean, this is all the in-game stuff as well. So this is, has been put down. You can obviously go away and put in your own rock pieces as well. So if you go up here, you can select different twigs that you may want to put in. So we'll just put this down on the ground. I do have my aligned surface on. So you'll see, there we go. You can pop that in at the back there. We can also decide to add in different foliage as well. So if we wanted just to add in a little bit of extra foliage around the sides, then you know, the world your oyster, kids. Just go away and, and design it as, as much as you want. But no, I think that looks pretty good and is a basic way to get you guys building in Prehistoric Kingdom. Nice, fast, simple. You can be as creative as you want with this game, but this is, is just a little basic tutorial. So if you want to check out how I built this custom Avery, then click on this video here and I will chat to you guys in the next one. So until then, take care.